Hey, welcome everybody. I got a lot of questions about my van build, um, how I did the bike bicycle setup, how I lowered the bed, what I used for it. So today I'm going to show you and give you all the details on what I've done to build out this awesome van. All right. So for the bicycle setup, I used four one ups, uh, van build, uh, bike racks. They're awesome. I screwed it into the floor, but they're on a slider bar. So I actually can move them around. That way you can fit multiple bikes in. I went for four. Um, that's plenty for me. And I also wanted to, to leave some space here on the right side because I do have a dirt bike. Um, I have the mounting system here in the floor as well. It's pretty awesome. I can take it out. Um, so, you know, if I want to do a big road trip, four bikes, one dirt bike, it fits and I can even lower the bed. All right. So as you can tell right now, I have still plenty of space above my head. So for daily use, when I'm coaching and using the van for work, um, this is a great setup. I don't have to worry about leaving the bikes outside. And that was the main reason as well for me getting a van and having the bike, uh, bikes in the van, because, you know, I want to have them uh, safe and secure. And this way I have a lot of space. But the cool thing is I can still leave all the bikes in as well when I have the bed down. All right, so this is my dirt bike uh, lockdown. It's, it's really awesome because I can take it out when needed, but I can also just put it back in. Um, I have these bolted to um, the van. So screws go all the way through to the bottom. And then this works really easy with four screws. Put the back in when needed. And there you go. You got your dirt bike lockdown system in it. And the cool thing is with this as well, and I'm going to show you guys that in a minute, um, you don't need tie downs for this. So this locks down on the pegs, super sturdy, bike doesn't move around, and you don't have to worry about like uh, putting pressure on the fork with tie downs and stuff like that. So I know a lot of you people are wondering now, well, how are you going to lower the bed with your dirt bike um, in the van? Okay, so I'm just, it's going to take like probably one minute to do, but I'm going to take the bolts out again, going to flip this down, move the dirt bike forward just for the night so I can lower the bed. Um, if I'm out camping in the middle of nowhere, what I do is I leave the dirt bike outside, lock it up and then put the bed down. But you know, if you're road tripping, um, and you can't leave the bike outside. It just takes two minutes um, to do this, but you know, it works and I can leave the uh, dirt bike inside. All right, so for the support system of the bed, um, what I used is these IKEA um, bed support systems. They actually slide in and out so you can adjust the width. Um, these are the brackets that come with it. Um, so I use that on the lower, lower side because this is where I need the most support. This is where I'll be sleeping on it. When I have it up higher, all I got is these little aluminum um, parts. You can just buy it at Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, cut it to size, put a screw through there, because if you put a screw through there, then this uh, beam won't slide in or out. It won't move, it stays in place. Um, and that's basically what I did. Put some plywood on it, uh, cut that in half, because that is easier for me to take it um, off and slide it back on. So, and I'm gonna show you that now, how I do that. All right, so you ready for the show? Let's go, let's get the timer going. Have these to actually tight um, because you don't wanna slam the brakes when you're driving and have a piece of plywood in the back of your neck. So just some extra security um, to make sure this all gets tight. Got some pillows up here, great for storage. Blankets, gonna take that off. Got a little foam mattress, gonna pull that out. And I'm going to grab the pieces of wood. So um, I might be traveling by myself um, a few times a year and I wanted to make sure that I can do this by myself. So by just doing this in two steps i can do this by myself and it's actually been really awesome so i leave it up here on the first beam i'm gonna go back here now 
I'm gonna pop these out, push them in, put them in the lower ones, slide them out. So works perfectly. Right size, grab this one, the second one. Go. Slide this one back into place. Grab this one. Then we got our bed, base, mattress. Ugh. Hopefully it doesn't get stuck behind my chair. <laughs> There you have it. Bed is ready. Bed it, put the pillows back up. Um, you can sleep either way you prefer. I like to sleep like, like this, um, the length of the van, because that's where I have most space. Easily fits two people. Got my dirt bike in here. Um, if I want to use the sliding door, <laughs> I'm just going to push it back a little bit. As you can tell, push it back, and then I can still get out. I have the tie down here now. And again, this is just for weekends when you're road tripping and you want the dirt bike in the van. Leave it like that. And uh, all right, let's get some uh, more bicycles in there because I still got plenty of space to fill this baby up. All right, so this is a setup if I, you know, would go on a longer road trip, uh, dirt bike, bicycles. Uh, if I want to push it, I could put four bikes in, but three is ideally, um, you know, I still have plenty of space for the dirt bike and the bicycles in there. And as you can tell, they fit in with the front wheel on. That was a big thing for me too, because especially coaching, riding bikes a lot, um, taking bikes in and out the van and having to take the front wheel out constantly. Uh, <laughs> It's just like, gets a bit tiring sometimes. So I love this, that I can leave everything in, uh, pop them in and uh, have a bed on top. Pretty stoked about it. Still have to do some final touch-ups uh, left and right. We're not done yet, um, but I heard a lot of people say, uh, van life, you're never done with your build. And uh, I do understand that now because <laughs> it's a lot of work, but I'm super pumped. So if you guys uh, like it, like and subscribe uh, to my channel because I will be posting more stuff uh, as I, keep finishing this uh, piece of art up. So I'm excited to take it out for a, a big weekend of riding and shredding.